Hit you with a bass drum. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here, and uh, I am so sorry again. Uh, we, I've been a uh, been away uh, from my channel. Uh, we've been going through exams and summatives and everything like that. So um, we're gonna, for me to make it up to you guys, I'm gonna bring you a decently long-ish kind of tutorial of how to make an orb. So we're gonna get right into it. So we're just gonna do 1280 by 720, and make sure the background is white. Okay, so you're gonna make your uh, uh, shape tool, and then you're just gonna make it a nice color, a uh, nice circle, more long than wide. Okay, make it nice and big, and then you're just gonna center it, just to be organized a little bit. If you don't know how to center, you just select the whole entire background, and then you select your uh, shape. Go to here, your movement tool, and you'll select these two buttons right here. Okay, so just control D. So now you're going to do uh, control J. And you're going to select like this, control T. And then you're going to make it pretty nice and big. For the outer right here, you need it to be decently big. Okay, so now we can select it by holding control and then clicking on like the picture. And then we select the bottom one. And then we do control X. That didn't work. Uh, one second. Oh, whoops, sorry. You have to rasterize the layer, of course, sorry. And then you do Control X. And then you just hide that layer. It should be like that. So you can just delete that layer. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do, uh, we're just going to zoom in a little bit. Alright, so... It's just a circle for right now, but we're going to make it more of a 3D kind of thing. So, we are going to take the uh, dodge tool, and we're going to put the exposure to around 40%. And then you're just going to, right here is where you want it to be lighter. So you're just going to make it a little bit nice and light right here. Don't overdo it, just nice and light. Make sure you get more in the middle. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to get your uh, burn tool and then do it on the bottom so it makes nice and darker. Alright, so you're going to do the same on the top except it's going to be on the opposite side. So you're going to make it darker on the out. We'll start with the light. You're going to make it lighter on the inside. Alright, and then you're going to make it darker on the outside. Okay, so you've pretty much got the frame down. I might have overdone that a little bit. Don't, make sure you don't overdo it. Um, you're, yeah, I already, I overdid that a lot. Yeah, you can see that it's way too dark and everything, but... That's all right. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do now is to make the actual orb. This is all up to you, okay? So what color and everything like that. So it's all up to you. Uh, what you're gonna do is just make the circle, make it sort of the same. Just try and get it as close as you can to the same. And then just adjust it. Okay, and make sure it's in the back. Okay. So now you're gonna make it a different color than what it actually, what the uh, frame is. So we'll do a nice sort of blue. Do a nice light blue. Like so. And then you're just gonna uh, go, just make it nice and simple, just uh, We'll put maybe sort of a gradient overlay in there. Maybe we'll move 
move this to the middle and put a new one in there and put that as black. We'll see how that looks. Okay, how about we change this to a nice dark gray? No, it doesn't do. Okay, so you're just gonna be playing around with this for a little bit. Just, just make it how you like it. Yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. Okay. So, uh, there's a different, there's a lot of different techniques and a lot of different ways to make orbs. So, one way that I like to do it is to start right here in the middle with my pen tool. Make sure you have your pen tool and make sure that the, it's white right here and then start off on the side in the middle and then just make it the same sort of shape kind of thing and then do alt and right or left click the point right here and then just do straight lines all the way back up here and then just right click and do fill path and it should be white yeah okay so then you're gonna do that again just a little bit farther over though Sorry, you're gonna to want to do it on a new layer. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do a new layer and you're just gonna go a little bit farther over. And you can do that. Again, do the same thing, Alt, uh, left click, and then just do, oops. Then just do straight lines back up here. And then right click, fill path. And just like that okay so don't uh, deselect that okay so what you're gonna want to do right now is for the outer one for the one that's down here more towards uh, here the bigger one you're gonna want to select that oh I'm sorry I mean the other one the smaller one oh, my mouse is messing up. okay so you're gonna select the outer one, the more the one more to the left, and you're gonna do a drop shadow. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little dark, but we're gonna make the opacity nice. Okay, so I would say around 20%. And the distance bring it down to around 10 all right so that seems fine all right so now you can again just play around with it however you like I would select both and go through here and play around with them maybe do an overlay oops overlay and it'll look sort of like that kind of thing or a soft light I usually just scroll through here and just see how each thing works how each thing looks so we can just go through here and just see which, you, which, you, uh, which one looks best. Oops. For some reason it's doing that, okay. Very light, linear. Um, yeah. I'd probably just keep it at that and, or maybe just, ah, oh, why is it doing that? or soft light. Soft light probably looks best. All right, so then what I usually do is I will just group these two. All right, just like that. And then I will duplicate the group. And I will do control T and I'll hold shift and bring it just the uh, other way up. Uh, for some reason it's being all weird. There we go. Okay. 
and then you can just bring it, drag it over here. And then you just place it nicely. So then you can just keep going along with it, guys. Um, another thing I would like to do is do a new layer. This is just a quick thing right here. Uh, if my thing just froze, I think. Let's see how long. Oh, it's 10 minutes. Okay, we'll put that down. Okay. So what we'll do is do a new layer. And we'll go to filter. Uh, I believe it is... Uh, there we go. Go to render, then clouds. And as you can see, it's all like that kind of color. Um, it's white and, and uh, blue. If you don't want that color, which I usually don't, uh, you go right here, click this button right here, and it'll go black and white. So again, we'll go back to filter, render, and clouds. And then we will go just to where it's over that. And then we will do a nice overlay. And if you want, probably soft light. Yeah, that looks good. So yeah, so there we go, guys. This is how you do a decent orb. This is how you, this is the base of making the orb. I did mess up on the body a little bit, but I will show you at the end of this video a quick example of what you can do. Um, if you guys don't know the speed art that I have made of the X Fear Arts, my entry to that, um, I use this technique. Uh, I will admit though, I did mess this up though, but if you just follow this and make it look really nice and make it look how you want it to be, then it'll look amazing. So yeah, again guys, uh, don't take this into what it will look like though. So just go along with it guys and uh, I hope this helped you and please do like the video, please do comment the video um, and please subscribe. Uh, thank you guys and I will see you later.